morning, day two in Strasbourg. Actually, this is our first full day really because we arrived yesterday. So we're going to walk around and explore a little bit more of the Grand Ile in Strasbourg. We have actually a coffee machine here, which was nice. So we had our daily coffee already with a little treat. But if we find a cute little patisserie or something, we'll probably grab something or maybe even sit down, who knows? But I wanna take some cute pictures today because this town, I feel like I'm in a Christmas movie. And as I said, this is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, this Grand Ile right here. It's protected. They take security here very seriously. And because of the current times we're living in, we have to wear a mask basically at all times when we're outside. And of course, at every Christmas market, you also have to wear a mask, so that's something of note. So I put on these little puffs because I can just place the strings of my mask over so it's convenient. When you're wearing a hat and you have to lift and put your mask, it's quite annoying, I have to say, but... This is just so adorable. And yesterday, Nikita and I, as you saw, we walked around and we found Le Petit France. And it's just really cute. They have some iconic photo op opportunities as well. It's beautiful to see, absolutely gorgeous. And today we're going to explore a little bit outside of this little or this grand island that we're on here. There's just bridges almost at like every section you go to, there's bridges to hop on and off the island, of course. Very secure, very lovely. We feel safe and it's just a beautiful city. Absolutely gorgeous, historic, cultural, festive. It's just lovely, so I'm so excited to explore. And it was nice to actually sleep in a little bit today. <laughs> so let's go. Hello. Bonjour. How's this for a beautiful morning? Look at this iconic corner. It's so adorable. Right here on Grand Ile of old Strasbourg, historic Strasbourg, and it's just gorgeous. Christmassy, festive. I just absolutely love it. So I'm making Nikita take some pictures of me and we're getting some pictures of us together, but it's so worth it. This is what I wanted to do before breakfast. <laughs> Now we are officially in Petite France. So it's just literal steps. Oh, that looks good. It's just literal steps away from Grand Ile. Very cute. Where Grand Ile reminds me of a mix of like Germany and France. This is very much more France, I think. But it's just really cute. And do you remember the history of Petite France? Yeah, it was uh, a little tiny building or a collection of buildings where French troops would station before they would be able to go back to see relatives and stuff and mainly because a lot of them would come back from um, naval and military trips with syphilis mm. so they would stay at certain particular small little area of Strasbourg and out of that then they would go home if they were fine. So this then became just Petite France after it was named that way. It's a very weird reason. Strange history but so yeah. cute. <laughs> The foie gras, foie gras eclair. eclair. And Nicolas, Nicolas. <laughs> Nikita's reaction was, wow. Oh my god. So good. There's the onions, caramelized onions. Oh my gosh, onions. wow. Insane. Wow, you look like you love it. And you have a nice coffee? I think you have to have a bite. Okay. Oh my god. That is delicious. Mmm. And I, of course, got a sweet one. This is the pistache, pistachio di Iran. So it looks really delicious, and I'm very excited to dig in. It's delicious. So safe to say those eclairs were incredible, some of the best that we've had here. It's not like we've been here so long eating eclairs every day, but honestly, some of the best we've ever had. Nikita's foie gras eclair, because he's a savory person for breakfast. It was fantastic, delicious. You saw how much he loved it and my pistachio one was incredible. So I wish I had a bigger stomach so that I could just try every flavor. But we're only here for so long. So every time I see something different, hopefully I'll just pop in and try something maybe even more characteristic of this area because this is the Alsace area of France. So we heard even yesterday on the tour that people, if you listen carefully, some people might even speak Alsatian, right? Mm -hmm. Alsatian or Alsatian? I can't remember, but something like that, yeah. So that's very, very interesting. I'm sure it's a mix between French and maybe German, who knows, but very, very...
Old Town or Petite France. <laughs> We're in all three at the same time somehow. And it's just beautiful because you get to see all of the designs of the building, just the classic old French German sort of design. The facades of the buildings are just absolutely beautiful. These little cute cottage looking houses i just absolutely love it it's gorgeous and it's beautiful because you have just a lovely panorama everywhere you go so truly just hop on a bridge and take it all in because the views are spectacular here so this is sort of where our airbnb is the tree that we were at yesterday right now we're here oh that's cool that nice little bridge so you can see it's actually quite a small little town right in there but it's so so cute i love the grand Isle. it's beautiful and i can see why it is a unesco world heritage site So the one thing I've noticed is that there are little Christmas stalls and Christmas markets set up all over the city. So all over the Grand Isle, there's Christmas markets of some kind and it's just so cute and festive. They all have roughly the same things. You know, you can always get your mulled wines and your little cookies, candies, treats. Here, as we said, they have more focus on the German cuisine as well. So there's like lots of pretzels and sauerkraut and sausages and things like that. So it's really, really adorable. Oh my gosh, just look at behind me how cute this is. <laughs> just incredible. So it's just really nice to see this during the daytime as well as the nighttime because the nighttime everything just sparkles and pops and there's literally lights everywhere. It's just so, so fantastic and marvelous. I just, I don't know, I'm just, I'm in awe of this. just the sort of creme fraiche you can say with onions and the bacon and then on top of that we added also mushrooms so no cheese today we're just trying the classic but with mushrooms and then Nikita has a special one with some sort of arugula topping trout and that creamy sauce and of course onions as well those look incredible so I can't wait to try this mm. so this is how thin it is as you can see Mm. It's incredible. So good. Ooh. Wow, look how nice. So this is the dessert tart flambe. It is the apple one with salados and he just flambeed it and this looks incredible. So when the flame is off, we're going to dig in. Mm. Yeah, take a piece. It's so thin and this is the half size. So all their tart flambes, you can do the full size or a half size, which is actually lovely. So we just ate at this place behind us. Tart flambe. As you saw, I had the classic one with just added mushrooms, so not even cheese, just classic. And you had the trout one, and of course we shared, so we had them both. But for dessert, we had the apple one with the clavados alcohol, and they flambe it with some flames. How good was it? It was great. <laughs> so I really love tart flambe, and this is something I'm going to miss because it's a classic Alsace, Alsatian or Alsacian cuisine, right? Yes. Violet, rose, and framboise. You like it? You can taste the gingerbread. Yeah, the gingerbread. <laughs> You look like you should be eating a macaron for some reason. Yeah. <laughs> this macaron matches your outfit. <laughs> mm. Hazelnut is delicious. Good, eh? Mm -hmm. I knew hazelnut would be good. Mm. I like that. Yes, now try the rose. Mm. Very nice, joyful. eh? Yeah, sure. Okay. Enjoy. We're strolling around and look what I found. I don't know if you can see this, but I'll show you. N plus L. How 
cute is that just for us? And this is right in front of our house. Our, our door is right there. And we're right here at this most iconic square. Right. Ta-da. Right. This here. thing is so huge. It's so tall. It's so tall. It's incredible. So right now we're going home to take off these earmuffs. Uh. Go to the bathroom, drink, have a little just 10 minute relax and then we're going to head out and do a wine tasting tour, right? I believe. I think so. I think so. Nikita's it's, it's plan. It's a wine museum that yes. I believe they do wine tasting tours at yeah. as well. Now if I'm not right, I hope my <laughs> girlfriend edits this out. Fiance. But if you are right. My fiance. Yes, that's right. Fiance. Boobadoo. Oh, we haven't even been calling each other that for so long because it's so new for us. But uh, I just love it here. <laughs> it looks like a scene from Harry Potter. There goes the baker with the tray like always. Da 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 da. <laughs> so cute views from the window. The window. I just heard the church bell ring. It rings once every hour, which is quite nice. Nikita said it woke him up today, which is so cute. So I had to take those little earmuffs off my ear because after a while the pressure of them on my ears actually starts to hurt. But they were so cute in photos. I just felt very festive today. It's a beautiful day today. I feel like I finally see the sun poking out a little bit. So we're going to go to walk around a little bit and also hit up that wine museum as we said. We're not quite sure if we can do a wine tour today because it's only on special occasions. But I'll let you know so I'll see you there. Let's go! Allons-y! It's finally out, which is so beautiful. So let's go for a walk. So I did a little timer action thanks to that garbage disposal. <laughs> It is a garbage. <laughs> I put on this camera on top so you saw Nikita and I. Sometimes when you're by yourself, you have to get creative. If I was with my sisters, they would be taking lots of nice pictures of us and us of them. But when you're alone, you just have to make do. And it's really nice because honestly, sometimes I just hate asking people to take pictures of us, you know? Hospice Caves of Strasbourg, right? Yes. Do you want to attempt it in French? Historic no. Hospice Strasbourg. <laughs> so we're going to see what, what there is to do here and if we could potentially try some wine. Who knows? actually tour the caves and what was the coolest part of it I think well kind of the history of it right people who didn't have money to pay for their hospital visit which appear right above the cave mm -hmm. would pay in wine mm -hmm. when they would visit the hospital and so hence there are wines there that have been there for the last 500 years the oldest wine the oldest white wine was from 1472 in the entire world that's caved up there. Yes. And uh, that wine was opened only three times. One time mm -hmm. when a uh, city of Zurich promised Strasbourg permanent protection. And the interesting thing is when they promised that, uh, they were able to 
bring soup from Zurich to <laughs> Strasbourg and it was still warm. And that was back in 1572. Wow. There was another uh, time back in 18th century when uh, the wine was open and the third time in 1944 when Strasbourg was liberated from the Nazi regime. Wow! Multiple people with wine tasting experience to try it out, sample and choose the best wines and then the best wines are actually housed here. Mm -hmm. And we picked up a bottle of a um, 2019 Pinot, Pinot Noir uh, that's been here for the last couple of years. And we did 2019 because that is the year in which we met. Oh, <laughs> it was her idea. It was my idea. Romantic. <laughs> this little kugel hopf because it's what you're supposed to try. This one looks really cute because it's pink so I'm actually very excited. Mm. From this place called Au de Melanie. So I just opened my window so you can hear some outside ambiance but on our way back we got this little kugel hopf. It's with roasted almonds and hazelnuts. Typically they have like the little, I think they look like chocolate on them but this one is pink. It's so cute and I already had a bite and it's really delicious so slowly I'm trying everything. Christmas related because these are very popular. They make them in the mini size and in the larger sizes. And it's essentially like a little yeasted sort of bread and it's very, very delicious. So very fun to try for the Christmas season. And just right outside our window, of course, let in some fresh air. It's a beautiful day today, just absolutely gorgeous. So we're just back here very briefly. It's a red. We got a red wine. I thought it was going to be white. I don't know why. I, I also completely yeah. messed it up. Yeah, because what was this? A Pinot? Pinot Noir. Oh, Noir. Pinot Noir. Pinot Grigio, I think, is white, right? Or no? There you go. This is a red Pinot Noir to try. So. Ooh. Cheers, my love. Cheers. Love you. Love you, sweetheart. Love you. Very interesting. Very delicious. Cool. So let's try it with this. Would you like to try this, babe? Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. Nice, eh? Nuts. Yeah, nuts. Mm. Hazelnuts and almonds, roasted hazelnuts and almonds. Mm. Delicious. Mm -hmm. Our little picnic that we have going on here <laughs> in our very hoog aboard. I just love this. This is such hooga vibes. Hooga vibes. Right from the window. Hello, everybody. Downstairs. <laughs> so lovely. The sights and sounds of Strasbourg. Strasbourg. This is the Gallery Lafayette of Strasbourg. You must have seen us in Paris at their gallery. Look how beautiful this is from the outside. Lovely. We're finally trying a pretzel. This one has, mm. this is amazing. Mm. Little bits of cheese mm -hmm. and bacon. Mm. It's warm, it's soft. Look. It's doughy and soft. Mm -hmm. and there's bacon and cheese on it. Oh. Cheers, man. Cheers, princess. Oh, the knuckle? I think. Pork knuckle? Pretty sure it is. And then chicken with fries. And this is the place. Woo! 